the military tells, when he graduated as a school teacher from the university, little did he know that he would join the Kenyan Defense Forces as a military intelligence officer. Major retired Stanley Kiama served the Kenya Army Corps for 17 years and was part of the United Nations peace mission to Iran way back in 1988. Ben Troy Njue paid him a visit in Kiambu County and filed the following story on this week's edition of Military Tales. Military intelligence is a branch of the military that obtains, analyzes, and uses information of strategic or tactical military value. We are in Kiambu County to meet one retired intelligence officer who joined the army immediately after graduating as a school teacher. And on this week's edition of Military Details, we are in the suburbs of Kikuyu in Kiambu County where we are here to meet one retired major Stanley Kiama, who served the Kenya Defense specifically the Kenya Army as a military intelligence officer for more than 17 years. Karibu sana, Bwana Kiama. Great, thank you. My name is Stanley Moigai Kiama. I was born in 1952 at a place called Kemandi, Dakaine, at Gatanga, in Gatanga, sub-county of Moranga County. I was educated from Dakaine Primary School, then all the way to Thika, and I ended up at Thika High School. Thika High School, I was in Thika High School 1968 to 1973. That is from one to form six. And I wanted, really, I tried three times, although I was an athlete, and I kept being thrown out, being rejected. So my brother, Jeremy, who had joined the police that time, he told me, Stanley, if you, if you are still interested in join, joining the KDF, why don't you finish? Why don't you qualify from the university? And then you, you join. So I presented myself for recruitment to the KDF. I remember it was 4th August, 1978. Right here, a place called Kirigiti Stadium. I qualified later to a lieutenant and I joined the unit of my choice, 5th Battalion at Gilgil, and I continued as a. And I will tell you, it is the best training. They actually turn you, they remove what we call the civilian attitude from you, and you become somebody or something different, what they want you to be a man who can command people who will defend Kenya. After I qualified, the best training I had was intelligence. I'm trained by IDF, Israel Defense Forces, 1983. I was trained again by them, 1986. I was trained also at the Defense Intelligence Agency in Washington, D.C., 1984 when I was promoted to major, January 1984. And I will tell you that was actually an eye-opener to my military life. So after that, I came to DOD, where I worked for four years. Tell us something about some of the missions you were able to serve both here in the country. I kept peace slightly in uh, Uganda with Commander Museveni when he was actually on the final run to throw out General Tito Kelo. Then after that, I had a chance to serve my country in, with the UN in Iran for 15 months in what we call, what was then called Babylon, in between the Saddam Hussein forces and the Ayatollah forces. That was another eye-opener to us. Then I came back. When I came back, I was returned to operations department at the DOD headquarters. 
Then I was sent to the Defense Staff College, where you, you do a course which is equivalent to a master's degree. It's called uh, Past Staff College, Command and Staff College. So after that, I found myself retiring after 17 years of service. What are some of the lessons Major picked up as a peacekeeper in these missions? I learned a lot. There is no country that can proceed. There is no country that can prosper when you have no peace. A war for one day destroys a country. Development stands still for 20 years. Having lived in Iran for 15 months, I can tell you, Mananjue, the war is not, is something humanity should avoid at all costs. Major Kiama also sheds light on where politics and the military part ways. Politics and the military don't, don't mix. But they mix because when politics fail, it is the military that moves in. Look at what's happening now in Israel. The politics has failed. It is very devastating. A country goes into trouble because of bad politics. He recalls his most notable assignments abroad, which he admits makes Kenya arguably the most preferred peacekeeping force in the continent. I was asked to go to Iran. That was uh, August 1988. And I came back 1989, having uh, spent 15 months. When we arrived at Tehran, so I remember I was the Kenya contingent adjutant. So I asked, what is it? Oh, the general, the general is very, very angry because everybody who has arrived, they did not have any maps. They did not have any equipment to make the command post. And I remember telling the Kenyans, hey, Jeff Okanga, Onduto, Isa, we can make this command post. Do you know, Wananjue, within 40 minutes, we had made the maps, we had made the command post, we had made the intelligence briefing room, simply because Kenyans had done a job. From that day, Kenya became a famous country. Within, I think, two months, we were given Namibia with the general panel. And from there, the rest is history. We are number one in peacekeeping. And I'm sure Kenyans are grateful to us for the little bit we have done for bringing peace to the world. Major Kiama notes that security challenges have advanced, hence the need for modernization that KDF has embarked on. Definitely we have advanced because the enemy is also advancing. At least the age of the drones is here with us. The age of the most modern tanks, like the Makava of Israel, is already with us. The age of the modern tank like the Leopard 2 from Germany is already here with us. And Kenya, we believe, we maintain a good army, a good uh, air force, a good navy. And of course, the internal agencies. We want our country to have peace. And we believe that our country will be a better country because we have the rule of law and democracy. What is one patriotic thing the military taught him? The other thing that the, the military taught me is to love my country. That wherever I am, whatever I do, I do it always with this idea in my mind, that Kenya is the best country. The former military intelligence man is a consultant now that he is a retired veteran. I am a consultant, security consultant. If somebody has an issue, a security issue, he can consult me and I'll do a survey for you how you can survive, how you can do business, how you can protect your property. Something he picked up in the barracks, the 72-year-old veteran still enjoys doing exercises to relax. Avoid stress. I do a lot of cycling. I also like taking a holiday. Major Stanley Kiama insists the family structure is the foundation of any successful society. Yes, I have a family. Five children. 
five daughters, married to one wife, Mary Waidera Kiyama. I have my mother, Jerry Wakiyama. As we wrap up the conversation, it is evident that this veteran is still very patriotic, even in retirement. As a retired veteran, what is your message to Kenyans? My fellow Kenyans, I would say this. For sure, the cost of living has gone very high. I ask kindly, let there be tolerance. That's my message for Kenyans. For military tales. Thank you, sir. Great. Thank you. I'm Ben Troy